Are you ready to break the chains of poverty over your life? What a doctor has to remedy. The book, The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power, is here right now. Written by the People Scholar, Finance PhD, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Also, buckle your seatbelt because summer 2023, B1, the movie, is about to launch. You definitely don't want to miss that. And here's what you all been waiting for. The All Black National Convention is making a stop in Atlanta. That's right. We coming to the A. October 2023. Make sure you go to boycewalkins.com to get your tickets, or we'll have the link in the description box as well. And if you're about your money, like you better be, right? I need everybody, everybody to text the word stock to the number 319. These platforms mm -hmm. give you the illusion mm -hmm. of help. Does that make sense? Right. You think that you're going to get help when you go there. You think. You talking to industry experts, but you really not. Mm -hmm. And if there are industry leader, they water down their conversation to a tier one. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, like I just got I got a situation going on right now. You familiar with the e EYL brothers? Absolutely. Okay, that's the Mo brothers. I, I they was there at the We Buy Black conference. We okay. was all skills. It was me, boys, Jay, and them two brothers, the EYL brother. We all standing side by side. And they got these shirts on, say EYL. And I'm like, who's that? You know, I didn't know them. I didn't say nothing to them. They didn't say nothing to me. But we all the keynotes in the back, right? All of a sudden, these brothers blow up, right? I'm getting phone calls. They doing their conferences. Somebody randomly texts me up during their first conference and asks me, did I want to be in? I'm like, who the hell is this? What is EYL conference? You know what I'm saying? Invest Fest conference. What is that? You know what I'm saying? My people say, TJ, oh, that's that. Somebody randomly asked me, do I want to booth? So I text them back like, no, I want to speak. Are y'all talking about real estate? I would Word. like to speak. Nobody responds back. So all of a sudden, I didn't go. I'm sorry, they put a low rider. They put a, a classic car on the front of their picture. I ain't pay. I said, okay, no big deal. A Ford 65 Chevy. I said, so I decided to do a walkthrough. Okay, that 65 was there. They name painted on the door. I said, okay, cool, whatever. Four door, no, nobody, it'll stop. Next year, I'm getting blown up like, TJ, are you speaking here? Are y'all having a car show there? I'm like, why? What, what, what's happening? They start sending me all these flyers with Steve Harvey and Diddy. Lowriders on all the front of the flyers. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck? My people like, TJ, do we need to drag these Chevys out to Georgia? You having a car show? Keep in mind, I'm the most celebrated car builder on the planet. The West Coast Hip Hop Awards gave me the first ever yeah. hip hop award for my contributions into rap, into low and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm the leader of low riding industry and I just so happen to live in Georgia. So why would you not reach out to me? If that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? And you know I'm a public speaker and I'm speaking on bringing, the, I'm trying to get the schools to put classic car restorations in the schools. Like I did at Centennial High School in Compton and Compton College, they doing it. You see what I'm saying? These are the things that this is where the money is going. So my point is, I realize, and people are telling me, my people are saying, dude, that stuff is all fake and phony. They're not really trying to educate us. They want us to think we're being educated, but we're not. Mm -hmm. So this new conference they just had recently with all the lowriders on the front, I walked through there. There was no, not one lowrider. There's nobody there that represents lowriding. Except for the people that was in the audience asking me, where, where, why couldn't we bring our cars in here? Why they don't have low riders? Are you talking to something? Or we? No, I ain't talking. Well, why they got all the low riders on the front of the flyer? They like we gonna. They like, dude, we need to send them a decease and desist. Mm. That's fraud. You can't be misrepresenting, misleading people. But why they did that is they realized this is one of the wealthiest communities. Them Chevys I was building back in the days, we was buying them for three hundred dollars. And selling them for thirty thousand fixed up. Now they cost a hundred thousand, and we sell them for three hundred thousand. You see what I'm saying? So they want that community to be in all these events. So right now you got all the low, you got all these other folks that don't look like us. They trying to like they took rap. They trying to do that with low riding, but we've been fighting it. So right now, coming up in November, you got the SEMA show, the biggest aftermarket car, the biggest aftermarket part show on the planet is being held in Vegas. And you look at they flyers. All low riders on the front of them. You see what I'm wow. saying? You go to that conference, it's gonna be 99.9% .9 folks that don't look like us. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? LA right. 
LA Auto Show, first time in life last year, reached out to the lowrider community, said, hey, we want y'all to come over here. So what is my point? Why are they doing that? The AI is coming in, kicking out all these jobs. Technology is replacing all these jobs. Autonomous vehicles is replacing all these jobs. So they're trying to say, what works? What's working? That's not going to be replaced by AI. Real estate development and classic car development is the top two that we can access ourselves. Because I know y'all need a house. Oh, I'm going to ask you, hey, man, I'm a developer. Can I build your house for you? You see what I'm saying? Because I can go hire a bunch of the homies from the community, all these black people, and help build it. Oh, you want a classic car? Can I build it for you? Or oh, I can go hire all the homies and we can start industries with that. So that's why they don't want, they want us, they want to do it. So they tell the black folks, go to college. Matter of fact, my home, I traveled with the Black College Expo. They pulled me in in 2015. TJ, bring the low riding stuff here. We need that because college is a failing. 2015, 74% of college graduates unemployed or underemployed. They bring me in to speak about entrepreneurship. 2016, first ever entrepreneurship panel at the Black College Expo after 16 years of doing it. Y'all hear what I said? Mm. Right. Years, they ain't never had a, a business panel. My conversation just destroyed the whole panel to where they had to create one. And they said, never put TJ on that panel again. They had to go create a panel for me to sit on. Feel me? And then we brought low riders in to, to that pan, to that place, the Black College Expo. So you'll see me traveling the country with them. Ninth was it 17, 94% black college students, unemployed, underemployed. 2023, they need a bailout. It's all in the news. Mad at the president. They need a bailout. So it's bad. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, let me let me um go ahead, bro. If you can, a lot of great information. Appreciate it. Go back to the uh EYL the conference because there, there was like a, a report that came out, a newsletter or something where people were talking about how it really wasn't um the conference was kind of janky. You know, the information was kind of, you know, lackluster. Did you hear anything about that? You got any, anybody that was there that told you how the actual event was? There was a lot of people mad at me. Why are you not on the panel? Why are you not on the panel? I'm like, go ask them that. You see what I'm saying? I'm sitting in the lobby talking. I'm, I do more talking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sitting in the lobby. But, yes, I sat in the room. They, had, they called me and pulled me into a panel discussion about real estate. And these guys are supposed to be rich and all of that and making money in real estate. And then they're talking about social credit scores, how you get your credit together to buy a house. I'm like, again, tier one com information. Yeah. We're talking about ABCs. You see what I'm saying? Where you're going to talk ABCs to people who got $3 million because they just sold their mama's commercial building, their mama's apartment building. You feel me? You're going to talk about ABC. They looking to invest that money. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to teach them their ABCs, not in this conference. They they got too much money to have that conversation. Right. We need to be talking about, we got 500 acres over here. We're trying to develop it and build a city. You yep. said, hey, can we bring your $3 million over here? And see, that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, it, it's dude, it was just generic conversation in there. That's all it was. It was just generic conversation. But I knew it wasn't going to be real. When these cats start sending me all these flyers with, with Steve Harvey and and, and Puff Daddy. I'm like, at what point did rappers teach us about business? That's a fact. Did rappers ever teach us about business? Let's let's go into history. I remember T.I., he turned around and came out and did an Instagram live. People said it to me, look at this. T.I. T. I. just snapped. <clears throat> he must have got rattled. He came out and said, y'all need to buy land. Stop buying all that other shit. I don't know if y'all remember that video. Y'all need to buy land. Yeah, remember that. And then what was it? Two weeks later, him he was up on charges. Him and his wife, remember that? Yep, yep. A couple years watch, ago. Watch the timeline. He came right. out and he was rattled, and he like he heard the master plan of what's going to happen, and he was like, "Y'all need to buy land." He didn't say y'all need to buy a house. He didn't say y'all need to flip. He didn't say y'all need to buy some stocks, four hundred four hundred one k, four rexes, Bitcoin. He said y'all need to specifically buy land. But here's the thing about that. He over here building a 196 unit building. Right. You good, brother? Mm -hmm. I'm not answering. I'm not answering. <laughs> Sorry, but okay. So 
that is the type of stuff that we should have been talking about. You right. Work. So right now we have in a situation where land, it's like once all the land is gone, dude. Say say this. If I took you say, why am I so passionate about this? If you took say if you sold something for five million dollars, right? You you sold something for fifty thousand, five hundred. I don't care. Whatever you sold it for, you got a bunch of money over here. You say, okay, well, I'm going to invest my money over here into this stocks, everything else other than real estate. And you say, once I finish investing in this, I'll turn around and get some real estate later. So now all of a sudden, years later than pass by, and everybody's buying up all the real estate. Now you're saying, hey, I just made a million dollars off of my Bitcoins or my Forexes or my stocks or whatever. Now you come back to the real estate market and say, now I'm ready to buy something. You know what's happening now? Oh, you can't get nothing because nothing is for sale. Wow. So you say you got a million dollars and you need a house? Okay, I'll take that million dollars and I'll give you a 10-year lease. You see what I'm saying? Huh. So, so let me tell you what they're doing with the real estate, why it's so important and why I felt that people who were, were not talking about us buying land and not building, teaching us about building are so are dangerous to the community. Why do I feel that way? Because now that these cats own up, think about it. If me and you own up all the land in America, we own the majority of the houses in real estate. Now we can play games, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna raise the price of real estate on everybody. We're going to tell most of these people, y'all can't. No, I ain't renting y'all. No, I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm not renting to you. In fact, you want to start up a business because you on that Dr. Sabi kick and you want to open up some alkaline restaurant around the world because you realize there are no alkaline plant-based restaurant chains yet. There's only a couple because everybody's pivoting and restructuring to do that. They are trying to find those recipes. You not, you, you, you about to do that. Okay. So if you want to rent from me, cause I got boarded up restaurants all over Georgia, hypothetically speaking, you want to rent from me. I want a partnership. I want 30% ownership of your idea. Does that mm. make sense? Mm -hmm. That is what we're going through right now because these cats own too much stuff. Yeah. They know we are pivoting and everybody's trying to go plant-based. This is why Bill Gates turns around and buys up all that land to stop us from doing that. You feel me? Because if you go, we, we got to have gardens. They know right. all, all this plant-based comes from the garden. So black people is buying land in alarming rates. So again,